if you see a mad woman on the road naked, no matter how foolish you are, you would not rape her. Okay, so the victim is never to be blamed. No. I heard of a story where the uh, abuser said each time he passes by the victim's room, she's always leaving a bedroom door open when she's having a bath. So he felt that was an invitation for him to abuse her. Okay, and that is his narrative. That is what he tells everybody that tries to make him see that this thing you did was wrong. Okay, so for the abuse, abuse, I'll keep saying, you are not to be blamed. No matter, no, I don't even want to know the situation. You're never to be blamed. And I, I feel like if every abused understand this, it will help them to be able to speak up. If I know I am not to be blamed, I would speak up. Even when people are blaming me, I know that, okay, they don't know better. Okay, so the first thing is know that you are not to be blamed, no matter the situation. Okay, and speak to someone who knows you are not to be blamed. Okay, so for me, after speaking with those set of people and they chose to see my faults in it, I kept speaking until I found someone who understood that I was not to be blamed. Okay, and I was able to now narrate and start getting my aim and finding closure. So you might have to keep speaking to people. You don't always know what somebody will say to you when you talk, talk to them. You would not always know. Okay, sometimes you might know them, I know that okay, this person is a coach. Even if this person believes otherwise, it would say what I need to hear. Okay, but sometimes we have to tell the first person, tell the second person, because you know you are not to be blamed until you find closure or find someone who understands that you are not to be blamed. Okay, and then there's um, self, Shivani spoke about it, so knowing your self-worth, okay, knowing your value, knowing that whatever happened to you does not define your totality okay the fact that this has happened to me does not mean this is who i am okay learning to find your worth despite whatever has happened to you learning to um i don't want to say forgive yourself but forgiving yourself is important if you think you are to be blamed yeah okay if you think you are to be blamed it's important that you forgive yourself and like joseph said find a community man was not created to go through life alone no matter how strong you are, no matter how educated, how much self-worth you have, you would always need people around you to remind you once or twice. Okay, it happens to the best of us all. Okay, so find, uh, have a community that you can get support from, maybe your friends. Okay, and most importantly, make sure that this community shares the same value with you. Yeah. Okay. If you have a community that believes that sexual abuse is nothing, you just left with you. It's not really good. You know, that people that say, oh, it's your boyfriend. They should be able to sleep with you whenever I wants to sleep with you. You know, run, leave that community. So find a community that believes the same, that has the same value with you. Okay, I think these are basics. We can build up on that depending on the situation at hand. That's excellent advice. So, I mean, essentially what we're talking about here is that um, anyone watching this video uh, or this series of videos could be posting this over various days they'll be cut down into shorter clips but anyone watching this video who has been uh, the um, uh, uh, had the effect of an abuser um, on you um, our guests here are saying and you know that we're speaking from from personal account is take control of the people that you associate with the community you associate with um, forgive yourself from any feelings of guilt you are never ever to blame for the behavior of somebody else it's the internal um, second guessing that keeps so many women from speaking out and what I'm going to go to now I'm just going to share my screen with you to show you our web page for socialme2.org because um, what I'm going to do is I'm asking all four of our guests to go to socialme2.org um, after this call so here 
you can leave your story if you've had an effect and we look at racial abuse sexual violence threats of rape death threats all the things that might happen you can leave your stories here but anonymously so you've got a, a thing here for your name but that doesn't have to be your actual name and everything here is completely anonymous it cannot get back to you and one of the things that i think has come out is that speaking about your situation is the first step towards dealing with that situation 